The funniest thing I saw today, Ziggy, I was on Twitter, saw Packers guard Elton Jenkins. He said, quote, we feel like we're the best team in our division. Not sure if you saw that, but a lot of reasons for different teams to be confident in the NFC North. And I sat back and looked at it. And of course, as a Vikings fan, you know, I, I kind of just disregarded. I think the Packers are bad. But I just sat back and started thinking, there are so many teams, like of the four teams in the NFC North, I have heard each fan base at different points say, oh, we are the best team for various reasons. There's so much delusion in the NFC North because really, are any of these teams that good? I don't know. But I'm just looking at over over all four teams, the Packers. They're so used to whooping ass that they they have no idea what it's like going from a Hall of Fame quarterback to anyone other than a Hall of Fame quarterback. At least most Packers fans, you know, for 30 years now haven't realized that. I think they're forgetting just how great the impact of Aaron Rodgers because in years when he's been hurt, they are instantly irrelevant. Immediately their season is down the toilet. They're a laughing stock in the league, 6-12 and 1 since 2008 when Rodgers isn't there. We're just hearing them say don't count us out. You've been horrible without Aaron Rodgers. Delusion there. The Lions. These guys are saying they're favorites to win the division. Very talented roster. You can't ignore eight and two, but they were one and six to start last season. And can you name me the last time they won the NFC North, Ziggy? Didn't the Buccaneers win the NFC North more recently than them? The Lions haven't won the NFC North. (laughs) They haven't won. (laughs) Wait, wait. They haven't won the NFC North? The NFC North has been around since 2002. So you're right on the, the NFC Central was around with the Buccaneers. The Bucks won that in 1999. The Lions' last division victory was in 1993. We're 30 years since the Detroit Lions division championship. The Buccaneers, who don't even exist in, in the division anymore, have won the championship more recently. So when I look at the Lions right now and all their fans who are getting excited, I get it. You're very talented. But you haven't ever won the division, so I'm not buying that. The Vikings... Speaking of ghosts, speaking of cursed franchises, no one's more haunted than them in all of sports. And here you see me and you, Ziggy. We're saying Kirk Cousins, top 10 quarterback in the league. We have one of the worst defenses in the NFL, but me and you are right here saying Brian Flores is going to come in and magically fix everything. I, I can't help but say I am delusional as well. And then we, that blows us over to the Windy City in Chicago, where I have to listen to Bears fans tell me that Justin Fields And his 60.4% completion percentage is about to take over this division. And it checks out because the golden boy of this franchise at quarterback has been Jay Cutler for most living Bears fans. The only ones you'll find who are saying, no, 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 no. Sid Luckman back in the 1940s. You're 80 years old if you've seen anything better than Jay Cutler in a Bears uniform. So I, I look over top to bottom NFC North. Lions delusion, Packers delusion, Vikings delusion, Bears delusion. All of us are just living in this fantasy world in the offseason, but that's what makes the NFL so much fun, is that we can banter like this and actually believe it. People sometimes ask me, Paul, whether I regret switching from a Rams fan to a Vikings (laughs) fan. You know, this was like right in the middle of the 2022 seasons. The Rams were gearing up for the Super Bowl run, and you know, I knew they were winning that year. So why would I ever switch to being a Vikings fan? The most fun thing in sports isn't winning. People think that's the most fun thing. It's not. The most fun thing in sports is delusional hope. And the NFC North, more than any other division in football, I think is full of people with that kind of hope. Especially now, you know, the Lions fans used to just be miserable every year. Now they've got a little bit of hope going on. The NFC North, find me a more delusional division. I mean, maybe you can look at the AFC East. Maybe. That's up there. That's up there. But yeah, no, but at least Patriots fans aren't delusional when they think their team's going to be good. Right. Look, Besides I, that, like yeah. Packers 2012 Super Bowl, we are uh, not looking at a whole lot of success <laughs> from this division. I can't tell you what it would even feel like to win. I have no idea. So delusional hope, that is the only thing I have going for me, at least as a Vikings fan. But I just thought that was funny because every team, I've heard every single fan of each of those teams say, oh, yeah, we should we should really be the favorites to win this year. I'm like, what? And then I realized that I'm just an, me and you are just another one of those people. So NFC North. Any of those teams could. 
There, look, uh, I obviously I dislike many of them, but there is a certain brotherhood to it in the black and blue division, and, and we're just gonna we're gonna have to survive together this season for for better or worse. Who, who knows how to how it? You know go. why you have del- delusional hope about the Vikings, Paul? Why? Oh, because I have Kirk Cousins as the ninth. <laughs> yeah, because you have Kirk Cousins as an above average quarterback when he's just as average as he can get. No, that's not the delusion. The delusion is my Justin Fields, DJ Moore, top five QB receiver duo take. Yeah, I mean, I mean, yeah, we might good. be leading the charge of nfc delusion so or nfc north delusion so look who knows maybe maybe it'll be a a good conference or a good division in in the league this year we'll we'll, we'll only we'll have to find out 